or businesses get ready to open in Ohio this week, the number of cases of COVID-19 is rising in Hamilton County. Our local 12's Anjanette Levy is live now in the Breaking News Center with why that is happening and advice from county leaders. Good afternoon, Anjanette. Good afternoon, Liz. You know, part of the reason the cases are increasing in Hamilton County and in other areas is because there's more testing that's becoming available each week. And earlier this morning at a briefing, Hamilton County officials went through the latest numbers for us. Right now, there are 1,757 cases of COVID-19 in Hamilton County. It's important to point out that's a cumulative number. That's an increase of 185 cases since last Friday. A total of 333 people have been hospitalized with 22 new hospitalizations since Friday and 101 people have died in the county from COVID-19 with eight new deaths reported since last Friday. County officials are encouraging everyone who goes out to wear a mask and for employees of businesses to do the same. More businesses, including restaurants, salons, and barbershops, will open this week. They're also offering advice for customers patronizing businesses. To make all of this work, we all have to be on guard. If you approach a business and you feel its practices are not safe or there are too many people in that business, leave. You don't have to be there and it's likely not worth the risk. We know as we increase testing in Ohio that we will see an increase in the total cases. What my team is watching very closely are those hospitalizations and deaths. As we do testing, um, we know that we're going to now be testing folks that aren't as sick as they once were in the past because we're testing those with mild and moderate symptoms. Now, Hamilton County has also announced a forgivable loan program for business owners who did not receive any of those federal funds that were made available through the CARES Act. Commissioner Driehaus said they've currently heard from business owners who are interested. Those businesses must have fewer than 50 employees to be eligible. In the Breaking News Center, I'm Anjanette Levy.